What's going on, guys, and welcome back. We've got one of the biggest patches to hit Marvel Snap yet. Battle mode has launched, and we're going to dive all into that and what that means for the game and the future of Snap. Probably one of the bigger updates regarding buffs and nerfs was only announced on Twitter. We're going to break that down, as well as one of the most infamous, iconic characters finally getting the buff they deserve. So let's go ahead and quickly go through the patch notes, and then we'll go and talk about some big things coming later on so of course we got to start out with battle mode you can find that now in the game modes section which is cool might look like we're going to get new game modes coming out in the future and they will be placed here uh and the season pass shortcut used to be here you can now find that just next to your collection level it looks like uh but all you have to do is click friendly battle here and it's as easy as creating a match and joining one this is extremely easy all you have to do is sit here press create your code is going to get generated and then you're ready to battle against uh, your friends and whoever that might be. Now again, battle mode, absolutely huge. Great for competitive play. Great to test decks for you guys. But as far as this community goes, I have a huge announcement later in the week, but it does involve massive tournaments that you guys can participate in. But there's a lot more than that. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, but for the meantime, guys, I do have a Discord open. We've got a battle room if you don't have friends. <laughs> or you don't have anyone uh, that you can challenge immediately, or you want to test out some meme deck versus another player. People are already going at it right now. I'll be joining in there later tonight to take some of you guys down. Uh, and again, I'll be t making my return to live streaming later, earlier, probably next week. So let's go ahead and hop into the buffs and nerfs. Uh, very few, but some massive changes. Now, before we get to the main buffs and nerfs of this patch, in my opinion, we have a tweet here that's uh, pretty damn important. Glenn Jones is the principal game designer for Marvel Snap, uh, and he let us know that Surfer, Zabu, they're on the watch list. And by the watch list, that means they're going to get nerfed in the coming weeks, which is definitely important. Uh, but more important than that, guys, they now have the ability to not wait for a patch that really just happens once a month. They can now buff and nerf and adjust cards on the fly, and this is absolutely massive. Now, Surfer and Zabu getting a nerf uh, does suck, and he he already put down below. He's not excited to announce it. I know that anyone that paid for these cards aren't excited. I don't think they're going to get nerfed to Oblivion. They should be still very viable cards. They're obviously a little overtuned. They're just way too strong at the moment. Um, but it is nice to see that they're going to address that. And even more importantly, for the future of Marvel Snap, they can now adjust cards without doing a big patch. So we could probably expect a lot more of those. Now that's fantastic, especially today because we didn't really get a lot of buffs and nerfs. I was hoping to see a lot more during the beta days and even earlier. Uh, I, I like a lot more at once, but it sounds like they're going to come a lot more frequent, which is fantastic. However, today we did get one of the more iconic characters buffed and we got one of the most complained about characters. Heck, the most complained about card of all time in Snap has now been slain leader guys has got a nerf and it is a massive one at that so let's start off with a leader who is now a 6-7 so that's going from a 6-3 to a 6-7 and instead of copying all cards that your opponent played that turn he is now going to copy all cards your opponent played to the location right of here but on your side talk about neutering a car to the fullest now uh, essentially, the only place I see leader being played now is if you can block up the left lane uh, early, like clog that up, and then maybe you can force them to be playing in that right location, but you also you know, have to be playing leader. So if you're slightly winning the middle, then maybe he's a decent play you know, to add seven power to. Uh, but all I know is this is pretty much the end of his reign, which I don't think a lot of people are going to be mad about. Uh, I will say I don't want to see cars completely neutered like this a lot in this uprising with pitchforks of complaints. But leader definitely uh, was justified and definitely one that uh, people wanted to see. And it just wasn't a very fun card, albeit the worst card to lose to in Marvel Snap. So hopefully you leader enjoyers uh, <laughs> had your fun because he is definitely going to be losing his play quite significantly. Uh, albeit I was seeing him a lot less anyway, but now uh, you will be seeing him way less. But way more exciting than that, Wolverine here has finally got the buff he so rightfully deserved. They admitted it. He's way too much of an iconic character to be so underplayed. Now, this is absolutely a huge buff to Wolverine for a couple of reasons uh, that has me excited. Let's start with new players, guys. Wolverine is a card that you get very early on, but you don't want to play him because he's not a good card. 
Uh, but now you can have kind of destroy decks starting to work from even even pool one, uh, which is extremely exciting. Uh, and he's kind of like a Deadpool, right? In a sense, instead of doubling his power, he only gets plus two. Uh, but whenever he is discarded or destroyed, he's going to regenerate, which is, you know, I'm glad they added that to a random location with plus two power. Now, this is going to be, you know, intact because he, you don't get to pick the location that he necessarily goes to. Uh, but this is huge for destroyed decks. I know I'll be playing them a lot more for early destroyed decks. And uh, we're definitely going to have a Wolverine video in uh, probably next if I had to guess. And then even discard decks, you can get plus two. Uh, so Lockjaw discard, we might see him kind of been played in that archetype as well. And then personally, if you guys haven't seen my huge Galactus guide, already a great card to put with Galactus and only going to be better as you can now buff them up over the course of the battle, send them to the lane that you want. And uh, they just kind of nerfed Galactus, but now he's buffed again with Wolverine being way stronger. So, um, you know, they said they buffed one of the most iconic characters. I guess who gives a damn about this guy? Now, outside of that, the only other two things is we've got Zabu added to Series 5 in the token shop. So if you don't uh, spin on Marvel Snap and you did not get the season pass, Zabu is available for tokens. Uh, albeit they are going to adjust him so i would probably hold off on grabbing him myself uh and also you can go ahead and change your name in the avatar menu this is probably big for a lot of you guys who thought they were going to play marvel snap for a hot minute and they're still playing it months later and your name's like i don't know uh like cool spaghetti whatever it might be you can now change it every 30 days which is fantastic now this is just the beginning of some big content changes on this channel guys uh, not only in deaf guides but a massive change in the way that I do content. And then again, a really big announcement that I can't say anything yet, but I've been working on for months and that'll be coming later this week. If you guys want to follow along and if you want to challenge me in battle mode, be sure to go and check the Discord down below. I'm going to have another video out probably later tonight, if not first thing in the morning. And until the next one, guys, happy snapping.